three percent of Brits would like Tom Cruise to what? Come out of the closet. <laughs> Just a joke. <laughs> and he wouldn't come out of the closet anyhow. He's short. He'd come out of a cabinet. So <laughs> it's just a joke. Have uh, you met Tom Cruise? I produced a salute to him. You produced uh, a salute he, to him? He was honoured, uh, Jimmy Stewart was honoured, and uh, Gene Kelly. It was a great evening. In fact, Miss Rivers was there with her good friend Roddy McDowell. That's right. And... Um, they're all dead now. They're all dead. <laughs> all dead. That must have been the catering, then, was it? <laughs> <laughs> have you met Tom Cruise a few times, then? I... I think he's here. <laughs> uh, yes. <laughs> he's lovely. He's very charming. What do you think 3% of Brits would like Tom Cruise to do? Make Rain Man 2 the revenge. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I would so love that. <laughs> Most annoying thing about going to the cinema? I, I personally happen to enjoy them, but I feel like a lot of people complain about the previews, you know? I get annoyed, but I get the previews or trailers, as we call them, yeah, trailers, uh, because yeah. that's what they're called. Um, <laughs> I get annoyed when there's a trailer for something that's better than the thing I've gone to see. So you sort of you're going, oh, why have I come to see this? That yeah. looks amazing. Yeah, usually it's because it hasn't opened yet, is why. They, <laughs> because, it's a, because it's a preview. <clears throat> <laughs> All right. <laughs> was it amazing being part of Super Saturday? Yes, it was, it was pretty special. It, I mean, it goes down as... Mo, Jess, and that random ginger guy who turned up as well on the day. <laughs> <laughs> but your life will be different after tonight. Oh, really? Yes. I don't know what Nancy's got planned for you. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like the ginger kid's getting <laughs> late. <laughs> Well, we've got uh, we've got a lovely picture of David there. I think we'll have to go for that. <laughs> we? Okay, you've chosen David Hasselhoff. David, you're in the new Piranha Three Double D movie. What's the film about? Give us the pitch. It's about an hour and a half, <laughs> 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 and it's about piranhas uh, that uh, get into the pools, and beautiful women, and uh, David Hasselhoff not saving them because I'm not really a lifeguard. Never have been one. And um, it's, um, <laughs> I know, um, I know why. There's some talk of making a sequel, which I'm excited about. What would the sequel be called? Piranhas on a Plane. Yeah. <laughs> Piranha 3 Double D is a sequel, isn't it? There's a Piranha film. Yes. Did you see that before you did 3 Double D? Of course he didn't. <laughs> <laughs> I, um, part of it. And on heart, have you seen Piranha 3 Double D? Well, yes, I did. I, yeah. I did, I did go to the restroom at the, the, the pivotal moment of the film and I missed that. Oh. Is it when all the credits come up? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it has something to do with a piranha and a guy and, and... Well, there's... You can say most anything you want on these TV shows. So if, if, if I say Willie... <laughs> <laughs> well, steady on, David, steady on. There's kids. There's kids still watching this. You're saying the F word every every five seconds. Are you making was... a reference to Mr. Tinkle? <laughs> Mr. Tinkle getting his anatomy chopped off in 3D by a piranha while in the moment. Yeah. In the moment. <laughs> Christian, when you were at school, were yes. you in the name of the rose and Prince of Thieves. How old were you when you were in those? Uh, 15, 16, yeah. So presumably you didn't have to do any... You went, oh, I'm going to the Oscars. I still had to do schoolwork. I mean, I still had to go, you know, go to school and do all that. I had a tutor. Lovely tutor. Lovely lady. She helped Did me out Did you speak with your tutor? <laughs> <laughs> you... There was a little glint in your eye that suggests that your tutor was teaching you a lot of things. Thanks for picking that up. <laughs> a lot of things you need to know. Thanks for picking that up. <laughs> she was lovely. Yes, and I learned a lot. Too much happens when you're a teenager. Too confusing. Oh my God. The first date, the first kiss, the first sex, the first drugs. I mean, that was an afternoon. I mean, it just was too fast. <laughs> <It> just... <laughs> but I had a cousin <laughs> who won the lottery. What's her name? Chlamydia. <laughs> I think her name's Veruca Sustainus. <laughs> Come on, tell us about Taramosolata herpes. Come on. <laughs> Why am I on this show? <laughs> I have literally no idea. I neither do I. <laughs> Tell us about your cousin. Two million dollars. Won two million dollars on the lottery. Had a heart attack right there on the spot. What well, would you rather be, a teenager or have a heart attack? 
Well, I think I'll go for the teenager thing. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> David Cameron? I did. I met, I went to the Parliament and I had him, you know, I just wanted to see it and uh, met uh, David Cameron. But um, who's, who's Nick Clegg? <laughs> <laughs> that is what David Cameron asked you. <laughs> <laughs> Most people think they could become an Olympic athlete if they trained every day for four years. True or false? That's a great question. Thanks. <laughs> been working on it, really thinking about it. <laughs> okay, so most people are regularly embarrassed by their partners, true or false. What, what do you think, Chase? I, 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 would, I would say true. I mean, I would say in general, people are embarrassed by their partner's behaviour more often than, than we would admit, but inside they're going, Jesus, would you just shut your mouth already? <laughs> I mean, not me, of course. I never think that about my wife. I mean, everything that comes out of her mouth is, is precious. And that goes into her mouth, for that matter. <laughs> <laughs> Best way to cheer yourself up, Jason. How do you cheer yourself up if you're feeling down? Am I allowed to say? <laughs> you were number you were number three in the Pussycat Dolls, aren't you? Number three. Well, I, I, sorry, I ordered it in my house. <laughs> <laughs> so. John Steen, what else has the nation loved over the last year of sport? I'm thinking football. The league, who won the win, Manchester City. The last day of the season. Mm -hmm. Phenomenal. And the, way, the way they won, not only the last day, the last few, the last five minutes. So that was a Kisnori victory. Do you like football, Jimmy? <laughs> <laughs> I feel like we're speed dating now. Um... I can't live forever, I'm just not able to die. It's the doctor who can only live forever. This, see, this is really scary, because I talk about it like it's actually real. <laughs> <laughs> How frightening is that? <laughs> Quite frightening close up. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Homeland's kind of big here, though. Oh, yeah, it's yeah. pretty big, yeah. yeah. Pretty good. Yeah, we love a, it. Yeah, it's a great show. Massive. Yeah, hit. it's good. It's a shame they couldn't have found an American actor to play the lead, but. <laughs> <laughs> Could you look sort of troubled as if you've got a dilemma going on inside you all the time? Could you do that? Oh, okay. <laughs> no, you look as if you're thinking about fucking a pie. <laughs> Do you watch, do you watch tennis? Are you a fan of Andy Murray? Yes. No, I'm a fan of Roger Feather. I do like Andy Murray, but I... Um, I have a crush on Roger. You've got a crush on Roger Federer? Yes. Well, if you would like, you know, someone that looks a little bit like his special needs younger brother... <laughs> <laughs> I know. Well, that's what I said. Look no because... further, my friend. You look like Federer if, he's, if he stood in front of that ball cannon. Just went... <laughs> 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 what are you saying? Puffed up. Puffed up. <laughs> Emma, you come second. Well... Uh, not you often, that. You do. <laughs> You just said. <laughs> Jerry, have you been to the Oscars? Have you ever been invited? <laughs> me? No, they're not going to invite me to the Oscars. <laughs> no, they, they, don't, I don't, they don't even tell me where they're holding it. <laughs> 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 I've never won an award for anything. Oh, really? Your show must have won an award. Oh, for what? Oh, for what? <laughs> Jerry, for, you, you for underestimate could... how, how popular you are, Jerry, in yeah. this country. Now everyone realises that Jeremy Kyle is the alternative. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Jason, do you follow uh, soccer? I do. Do you have a team? Uh, Spurs. Come on, you Spurs. <laughs> Who, they're all in. <laughs> 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 have, you, have you ever... Got, I mean, cos presumably with the dancing, you're, you become very fit and you become very flexible and stuff. Have you ever tried any martial arts? Have you ever...? I've done you, kickboxing. You've done kickboxing? Mm -hmm. So you could beat someone up? Yes. Only if it's a box. <laughs> <laughs> it's all crazy. The, the internet now, they had the best day ever and... The, the, yeah, indeed, yeah, the best online day. $182 million in one day mm -hmm. in internet sales. And they looked it up and it was Mel Gibson buying Nazi memorabilia. <laughs> and I thought that was fascinating. Kimberly, you, you, you look as if you eat, you eat an awful lot of fast food, clearly. Mm. No to fast food. No to fast food. No to fast food. What, what? Organic and natural is the way to go. Stay in the produce aisle. But surely all vegetables are organic. No, but they're not. You really do have to look for the label that says organic. <laughs> yeah, Jimmy. No, oh, it's true. I think all it means is organic, chemicals. but organic technically it means more expensive and muddy. <laughs> Now, Jerry, what was the most kind of adrenaline you felt in your system? At this age, there's nothing that rushes. 
Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Joan, do you think we've got better manners than the Americans? Oh, I think so. Once in the last 21 years, a man opened a car door for me. Once. And we were on the motorway at the time. <laughs> 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 With you, bitch. <laughs> Kimberly, you're a proud American, right? Yes. Now, the moon mission, they're saying it didn't happen. It, it did happen, right? I would like to believe that it did. Hmm. Dude. Well, even that seems a bit non committal. <laughs> 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 Go to Neverland and drink Jesus juice. Yeah. Oh. oh, come on! Yeah. Right. You all thought it. <laughs> I tell you, when I was ten, if they'd give me the option. <laughs> you want to see what with me? Yeah. There's a fun fair. <laughs> I'll be right over, yeah. He sent people talking about fatties like this. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I belong to Overeaters Anonymous. Really? Yes, this is the truth. And it's a, it, it's very, a lot of you here are thin, so, <laughs> but it is very, very sad because we all sit there and the women cry, cry and they go, no one loves me. And I always say, yes, yes, your butcher loves you, your, your, your baker loves you. And one woman, I mean, last week, which, right before I came over here, she was saying things like, I went on an airplane and she was sobbing. And she said, and they made me buy two seats and she just cried and then I said yes but now you can have two meals and she perked up <laughs> <laughs> if we want to be fat god damn it we can be fat that's the way it goes do, I David mean, are you do you do you dance no I have a I have a cousin you have a cousin yeah <laughs> I have a cousin good answer I have yeah. a cousin 279 pounds 279 pounds he started ballroom dancing Fred Astaire studio Met right. this lovely woman, five months, lost a hundred pounds, got syphilis, and died. <laughs> <laughs> if that's not being made into a musical, yeah. I... <laughs> Last week, protesters gained access to Yanukovych's estate, which featured a replica galleon, a golf course, a boxing ring, and a private petting zoo. <laughs> You've got the shot of the galleon. I was in his back garden. <laughs> I just think it's a bad idea for a leader of a country to, to have that much, to like, to live in a castle. I mean, who wants to live in a country where your leader lives in a castle and has all those riches? You... <laughs> You're a guest here, Jerry. <laughs> it's our panelists' job to guess the British public's top five most popular talking point. <laughs> I definitely needed an S on the end of it, didn't it? <laughs> <laughs> right, right that, uh, talking point. <laughs> Do the S again. Yeah, it's... <laughs> Could be one of mine. 40% hey, oh. of couples in counselling say what is a problem? Viagra. Oh. 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 These old guys that take Viagra. Oh, and it's good for 36 hours. You know how many orgasms you have to fake? <laughs> I imagine there's a certain amount of chafing involved as well. <laughs> oh, chafing those poor old dry ladies, they'd set them on fire. <laughs> <laughs> That's a painful image, isn't it? Yeah. I imagine Sting would quite like it, though. He does 15 hours with his tantric sex. Is that what he says? Even a terrific swordsman, after six hours... Swordsman? You know, the... <laughs> Where are you from, the 17th I'm century? <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'm Snoring? Oh, you can talk. Oh, brilliant. You snore in the most monumental way, my friend. Thank so, you very sorry, much. I should explain to the viewers that um, uh, David and Dave are having an yeah. affair. <laughs> <laughs> it's extraordinary. OK, so, Nancy, how do you relax of an evening after a hard day's work? Well, I will have a hot bath with um, a drink and then I have a very deep tissue massage. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> Yours. Well, definitely, you prefer mine. Who's the, who's the masseuse? Who's... Well, I don't have to tell on TV, but uh, I have a few. <laughs> oh, that kind of massage, I see. No. What sort of tissues do you use? Uh, deep tissues. <laughs> deep tissues. Deep tissues. <laughs> deep tissues. <laughs> Is your bath one of the ones that you get in the side and it fills up when you're in there? <laughs> Um, Jerry, now you used to work in politics. You, used to, you were uh, mayor of Cincinnati, right? Yes. So, do you think you and you've mediated so many disagreements over the years on your show? If the UN had gone, well, this is 
a t this is a total mess. <laughs> this is horrible. Why don't we send in Jerry Springer? Yeah. <laughs> I think that'd be a horrible idea. <laughs> You're right, if Ukraine had shagged his sister. Yeah. <laughs> so now... John Steen, what else have uh, people been talking about this week? Uh, Lance Armstrong. Is that something that's, uh, I feel like that's been popular yeah. over here as well. It's we've been, been, it's we've been, been chatting about it a little bit. American sportsmen generally, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You guys get American things here? <laughs> you get too many. I'll be honest with you. Treat. You can have that back. <laughs> uh, can I get a coffee? No, you can't get a coffee. You can have a coffee. You can only get a coffee if you bloody work there. <laughs> they get this. That's another American thing. The Easter Bunny. You just opened a can of worms yeah. with me, man. <laughs> Relax, I'll talk to Mr. America. Oh, I'm sorry, <laughs> all right, sorry, sorry. I think it's Captain America. Yeah. Um, <laughs> give us the story. What happened with Lance Armstrong? There's a big report uh, just basically blaming him for not just being involved in doping, but sort of spearheading all the efforts for the entire uh, team. Yeah, he's ruined cheating for a lot of people. <laughs> it was something I almost admired sometimes. You know, someone's a bit of a cheat. You go, ah, it's quite clever to cheat, but he's just gone nuts. He cheated... Well, I think, I think he just to cheated to win the Tour de France. Yeah, but he cheated seven times. You'd think after you'd done it once, you'd go, phew, I got away with that. <laughs> carried on. It's the sheer energy for the cheating. I don't know where he got that he's from. <laughs> It's not just the steroids he cheated with, he had a testicle removed, so he was lighter yeah. as well. <laughs> uh, a Brit just won the Tour de France for the first time, ever, mm. right? That was yeah. pretty exciting yeah. this past summer, Cavendish, right? Actually, no, English. No, it's Bradley Wiggins. No, it's not. What? I think Bradley Wiggins wins. That's what I said. What did I... What did you yeah. <laughs> so not Cavendish. You don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> okay, Sean, what do you think the nation be talking about this week? Well, there's the, uh, the, the... Britain's Got Talent, which you used to do, didn't you? Did you, yeah. do it? you did it over here, didn't you? I did it over here. Brin's Got Talent's mainly made here, Sean. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I meant, bloody Mr yeah. Logic. Yeah. <laughs> What's the American one called? <laughs> What's the American one called? Ah, uh, America's Got Talent. <laughs> I knew it. Yeah. But you were great on the show. Yeah, oh, thanks. I had a hard time understanding everyone, but I, uh... <laughs> I got to tour the country and, uh... Well, you, you, know. you and you, you end up going out with a lovely Welsh girl as well, you? Yeah, yeah. Met... my girlfriend is from Glyneath, and the weather is uh, weather's tough over there. Uh, the weather's tough everywhere. You have two winters over here. I mean, I mean, you have two summers. It's like you have winter and July. <laughs> <laughs> it, yeah, that's why the buttons on our shirt go all the way up to the top. Yeah. <laughs> that's why we do. If they made Baywatch in Britain, you'd see a lot more nipples coming through those. <laughs> I did. I haven't watched Britain's Got Talent this year until last night. I realized that the show is exactly the same as it was last year. And they just go to, like, the hospital, and it's like one flew over the cuckoo's nest, and they give you the people medication, and they, they send them to Britain's mm. Got Talent. And that's how you got the job. <laughs> <laughs> Most depressing thing about getting old. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's um, that you start to lose y your memory and Alzheimer's. Have I told you this already? <laughs> <laughs> Unpacked whale's got a ten foot dick, hasn't it? Sounds like the start of a song. Yeah, I was going to say. Oh, the humpback whale's got a ten foot cock. Do da, do da. The humpback whale's got a ten foot cock and it's so hard as a rock. That's a big <laughs> I think I've won money on you singing in the first ten minutes. <laughs> are, you, are you a follower of football, Jerry? Yes. Uh, the, the Seattle Seahawks won this year and they beat the... <laughs> <laughs> OK, game. soccer ball. You familiar with our soccer ball? Soccer ball. Oh, the yeah. round one, yes. The round one. Yeah. You kick it about. No, it's become very popular. Yeah. Well, thank you. <laughs> Christian, do you know who Lionel Blair is? I uh, love him like a brother. Yeah. <laughs> he doesn't know who Tony Blair is. Leave Lionel out. I just, I just got here. I mean, I've been, I've been rehearsing this play for the last two weeks, so I, I've just been working on my lines pretty much. I've missed a lot of news. But... And you're playing, you're playing a mental person in this play, are you? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> mental. Hey, 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 yeah. Maybe you could learn something. I'm watching, buddy. I'm watching. <laughs> so it's Will I Am, Kylie Minogue, Tom Jones, oh. and Ricky Wilson. You have Tom, jo Tom Jones is on the show. We have Tom Jones on the yeah. show. Yeah. Tom Jones. <laughs> we have a confused old man who can't work out why his seat won't take him into the bath. I love it. <laughs> we had a guy on 
my show who was, uh, I think they call him a chubby chaser. He liked really, really huge women. A chubby chaser? Yeah. I've always had issues with that. How much chasing is actually going on? Not a lot. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty much gotcha. <laughs> that there are a lot of overweight people who are that way because they have personal problems in their life. Oh, bollocks, stop eating, you fat bastards. <laughs> <laughs> the next round is called The Pole with a Hole. We've looked through hundreds of surveys from past and present from around the world and unearthed some fascinating facts. Unfortunately, each statistic is missing one salient piece of information. So it's up to our panellists to fill in the gaps. Here's your first one. Johnny. Oh, oh, sir. <laughs> is it, is it... <laughs> Thing. He can't read. I don't care. I mean, Hector, I can't read. I don't know what it said. <laughs> OK. 76% of mechanics don't what? Is it, uh, don't agree with the consensus view that Ulysses is James Joyce's finest work because I actually quite prefer Finnegan's Wake? <laughs> Service cars properly. That is the correct answer. Where the hell did I get that? <laughs> I'm possessed. <laughs> oh, no. You're not having a point. Damn it. You are not having the points. I'm hurt. I've turned off the buzzer. <laughs> Joan, have you ever seen a cricket match? I hate sports. You hate sports? I go to tennis matches, I don't even turn my head, you know. The ball doesn't come back, that idiot missed it. I mean, it, you know. Just... <laughs> I don't like sports. Christian, do you, do you think people should be allowed to take phone calls? <clears throat> To tape phone calls? Yeah. Is that what you guys were talking about? Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it depends. I mean, there's certain conversations I wish I had taped in my life. Which I, conversations do you wish you taped? Well, they're, you know, little private, quiet conversations that I wish... Uh, they're, they're, they're distant memories now, and, and uh, I really enjoyed them when I was having them, so... Uh, <laughs> I think everything should be taped, though. I'm taping now. <laughs> it's good. Camilla Parker Bowles, you find her attractive in what way? I'm thinking of Roddle. <laughs> <laughs> She's nice, actually. Have you met her? Yes, I have. I, I, I met Prince Charles once, he, uh, and, and he asked me, what does one do? And I explained the show, and he said, what sort of people do you have on the show? And I would say, I said, oh, you know, the husband, the wife, and the mi and the and the and the, and the, mist and the mistress. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe John Travolta's gay. I can't believe it. It's impossible to believe. He spent a lot of time in leather. He's great at dancing. Perfect teeth. He's an airline pilot. Ends up with cabin crew. He's not gay. <laughs> <laughs> I should say that John Travolta has denied these allegations. David, you must have you must have met him. You, you're a Hollywood star. Come on, you must hang out together. What is this show about? <laughs> I, I thought it was an animal show. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just wondering. <laughs> it's eight out of ten cats. Yeah, they, yeah, they bring them on in, in the interval. <laughs> If you've worked on Britain's Got Talent, I guess you've got used to not taking the title of a show too literally. <laughs> <laughs> on I'm a Celebrity, you claimed your maid's name was Vagina Kasiman. Is that true? Yes. Is she real? She's real. Are you sure she's I'm real? I'm positive she's as real as this set is real. <laughs> <laughs> her mother, and this is the truth, her mother loved her body part so much, she said if she had a girl, she was gonna name it Vaginica. Then, no, this is true, not noble. Then she married a guy named Harry Seaman. Harry Seaman. And she became Vaginica Seaman. What's her middle name? I have no idea. She hasn't got a middle name. I suppose she doesn't need one, really. <laughs> Mostly when she tells, tells her name, she's probably just wiping the drink they've just spat in her face. <laughs> 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 Christian Slater, how are you? I'm damn good, mate! Very good, huh? What's he on about? Oh, no, no! Tell him to stand there when you word is saying it! So I'm looking for the top word or phrase the public said when we said dance. Oh, it's pain, isn't it? Unnecessary pain. <laughs> oh, Sean. Is... Are you a dad, Sean? Yes, I am, yeah. You don't sound very happy about it. <laughs> yeah. Well, um... Are you on the birth certificate? Yeah, of course I am. <laughs> You know the people oh. Trisha normally meets, don't you? <laughs> You've asked that question before, haven't you? Are you a dad, Alan? Uh, no, I'm gonna be, though. Just as soon as you meet the right woman. 
They don't call me Shaggy for nothing. <laughs> Baby number one. Yeah. You're going to get a get better name than that, though, surely. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> but I'm just thinking, because from now on, it's no sex, no time together, no attention. Are you offering him a little bit on the side? <laughs> from now on, you won't be getting any at home. <laughs> <laughs> she won't even know you're gone. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> it's a nice offer, but I think I'm out of your league. <laughs> of actors have changed their name. A lot of entertainers oh. changed their name. Norma Jean became oh, Marilyn Monroe. Reg oh, Dwight became Elton John. And Paul Gadd became prisoner H39702. <laughs> have you changed your name, Chris? No, no. There's actually, because uh, my father actually has changed his name several times in his life. Has he considered Vegas? <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, obviously, we've got Jerry on the show. We'll pick a picture of Jerry. You'd be crazy not to. OK. Yes. Now, Jerry, on your show, you give out plenty of advice. You're brilliant at it. Uh, so we asked our studio audience, are you good at giving advice? Yes or no? What do you think they said? I think everyone thinks they're good at giving advice. Otherwise, they wouldn't give it. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, I, don't, I don't give good advice. I wouldn't listen to me. I do the final thought at the end of the show. That's my advice. But first of all, I'm lying because it's never my final thought. I'm always coming back the next day with another one. <laughs> well, one of these days. One of... <laughs> Jerry, what's the most extreme show you made? Uh, the show I remember is the guy who married his horse. <laughs> but in my final thought, I came out against it. I want you. What to... did you say? Nay means nay. <laughs> I need to apologize for the show. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I could just take a minute to apologize to the British people for yeah, my show. I didn't mean to do it. it, it <laughs> your show, there's nothing I've ruined the show. culture. I've destroyed the culture. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to hell. <laughs> and I just hope hell isn't that hot. I'm very light complected. <laughs> The reason people like car boots is because they can haggle the price and stuff. You can't do that in a theme park. It's, it's five pounds to get on the ride. I'll give you three quid. All right, you're not allowed to use the belt. <laughs> <laughs> but whenever I see a Ferris wheel, I do think the Millennium Wheel is clearly the best one. It's so slow, though. Well, if you scream louder, it goes faster. <laughs> <laughs> Did you not realise that was the system? No. Pull them a pikey, they go mental with it. <laughs> Patricia, the wheel, it's supposed to be a delightful journey with a view across London. It's usually foggy or raining, so you can't see anything. Oh, no, go when it's sunny. <laughs> <laughs> Are you writing Honestly... any of this down, Tricia? <laughs> <laughs> see, I recently got attuned in Reiki. Oh, yeah. that's channeling... It's kind of like a healing energy that you, put, you are the channel for. And it's really weird, because I think it really works. Sorry, do you want to buy some magic beans? <laughs> You can do Reiki as well, can't you? I used to be a hippie. I've sort of... I've moved on. <laughs> what's that? What's that? But Jimmy does Reiki? Yeah. You make her. <laughs> Quite right. What did she look like that was doing the Reiki? What did she look like? Yeah, it was like this gorgeous girl doing <laughs> Reiki of you. Or was that... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It's a, it's a, a big difference with a man. If we were both Reiki instructors, who would make you guys feel better? Come on, oh, shut no. your eyes. Come on, Holly. Shut your eyes so you won't know who does which first. Now, one of us is going on one side, one of us is going to get on the other side. Right, you're going to what? Heal me? Side felt better. I think the, the, the left hand side felt like it would be slightly more expensive. <laughs> and the right hand side felt like if you're on a budget in a hurry, why not? <laughs> which side was which? I was the budget in a hurry. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> I wish it had gone further, but you were probably thinking of the calories, weren't you? <laughs> uh, David, what do you make of airport security? Do you mind it or? I'm ha very happy to wait in security and, and go through as long as, you know, they don't ask for an autograph for a picture. That isn't why the queues are long, by the way. <laughs> Hello, I'm Jimmy Carr, and uh, I'm announcing a new tour. It's called Jimmy Carr Laughs Funny, because, you know, I do. I go to jimmycarr.com for dates and tickets, and then, uh, you know, I guess, buy a ticket and come and see the tour. 
I laugh funny, so can you. Come and see me.